This is going to be a daily ritual where we gather together. South Sudan professional photography scene is small, though young talent is available in plenty. A seven-day photo camp organized by the National Geographic in collaboration with Internews and USAID explored the talent and added the required skills. The photo camp was held in South Sudan's capital from Sunday 21st September 2014 to Saturday 27th September 2014 and attended by students from Juba University as well as young aspiring photographers from across South Sudan's 10 states. A photo camp participants were excited to take part. <laughs> excited! excited. Why are you excited? I love the mountain view. I love the mountain view. I always love mountains. <laughs> this is the moment. Everybody's gonna take a position for the shooting. We're not doing something bad. Come on. <laughs> take a position. Um, actually, I'm enjoying because it is giving me different skills of taking pictures, beautiful work. It is really fun. Stella Pony, one of the participants, explained how difficult it was for her to take photos before she attended the camp. Yeah, the trainer, Matt Mayer, a National Geographic photographer, explains the aim of the photo camp and says he enjoys the work with the participants. But in the end, very often it's about the things like laughing and sharing company and enjoying each other's presence and getting to know such amazing individuals like these young people here. It is inspiring. It makes our life worthwhile. It is something that we absolutely are passionate about investing our time and energy into. So thank you all so much for everything that you have given us this week. Yeah. Thank you. South Sudan's youth has yet to explore all means to communicate their views, hopes, aspiration, contributing to the building of vibrant democracy and sharing their rich culture. Photography being certainly a viable medium. For the Niles, I am Simon Bingo in Juba.